that wires go 30 to 40 euros. They have a thermostat in them which turns off the heat when they reach a certain temperature. Even if the thermostat fails, there's a little metal, uh, metal linkage underneath that once it goes about 10 degrees above the highest temperature in the thermostat, that will also melt you with water. Again, if you're And as you can see now, the house is filling rapidly with snow, and this is what's going to kill most people in the house, not the actual fire itself. Yeah, I can, I can hear it. <laughs> as you can see, the oil has just reached the temperature where it's ignited on its own. All I'm going to do now is then just killing the gas. By doing something like that, and getting the lid of a pot, and putting it on, that would actually suffice to out this fire. But what I'm going to show you is, I'll put it on like anyone else. Okay, then I get inquisitive to see if the fire gone out. So again, I remove it. And by removing it, the oxygen goes back in and the fire ignites again. Okay, so what I'm going to show you now next is I'm going to show you putting the water on to an actual chip and fire. Where should go? Okay, we're looking at the three cell numbers. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, what? Oh, Maeve, don't do that. Do you need to use that? Again? Oh, oh, oh you're going to all we have to do is put the lid, okay? And we can cover it with a, um, a fire blanket as well then. It's the outside of the pot that's on fire this time. It's from the oil spilling over. Again, you could use, um, say, a fire blanket or a fire extinguisher if you to do so. The main thing is that we leave